Okay, solving linear inequalities. I think I'm going to do three videos on this and see if we can get this thing put away. So, I'm going to solve this like it's a regular equation. I'm going to try to get b by itself here. First thing I'm going to do is add negative 19 to both sides. Negative 19 to both sides. You get negative 7b is less than negative 30. Sorry, negative 35. Right? What the? What the? Right, negative 35. Now we're going to divide. This is where it gets a little bit dicey. Look at this for a second. Let's take an inequality that's true. 5 is less than 7. If you multiply the whole thing by a negative number, look what happens. You get negative 5 is less than negative 7. That's not true, is it? So if you multiply or divide an inequality by a negative number, you flip the inequality symbol. So we're going to divide now by negative 7. So you're dividing by negative 7, both sides. So we're going to get b is greater than is greater than 5. All right? So b is greater than 5. If this was a number line, let this be 5. Our inequality would look like this. b is greater than 5. All right? We move on and just do another one here. Let's switch pages, I guess. 3n minus 18. My handwriting sucks today, doesn't it? Is greater than or equal to 5n plus 21. We have to move stuff around here, just like any other equation. So I'm going to move all my variables to the left-hand side. So I'm going to subtract 5n from both sides. So subtracting 5n from both sides. And what I'm hoping you're thinking is, do I switch this inequality or not? Only when you multiply or divide by a negative number do you switch it. So we're adding a negative number or subtracting however you want to do that. So we have negative 2n minus 18 is greater than or equal to 21. Right? So we get negative 2n. I'm going to add 18 to both sides. Add 18 to both sides is greater than or equal to... 39, isn't it? Now I'm going to divide. Look, so now I'm going to multiply or divide. So I'm going to divide by a negative number. Dividing by a negative number, we're going to get n is less than or equal to negative 39 halves. And if you're thinking, what should I do? What should you do with the 39 halves? Don't care. It's all good. All right, you guys. So remember, if we multiply or if we divide by a negative number on an inequality, only then. Do we change the inequality sign?